to shift jewels um today we're going to be looking at another stardew valley mod and we're going to be looking at actually a couple today we're going to be looking at a couple of l's mods so um they are mods that i found on nexus mods and they are kitchen appliances and actually home and various building makeovers so we're gonna go look at that um, in um, in game. I haven't seen any of it other than obviously the kitchen, and I'll and I'll also show you at the end how to um, do the mod because there's a lot of um, script editing in order to get your appliances and the colors that you want. So without further ado, alrighty. So first off, here is our kitchen. Um, I'll put pictures of the vanilla, so the original kitchen. So you can kind of see what you can change with it. Um, it's usually more of a this color wood with, you know, with more of a orangey tile, I believe. So I went with what's called the off-white with the sage countertop with the modern appliances. And everything still works. Oh. And everything still works on it. So let's go outside so one of the things that you get to change as well is your house and there's a lot of different um, things that you can change with your house so I chose I believe it was the Ermi style house and I chose the stained glass so let's see what other houses are on oh hello Okay, I don't know what was over here. Maybe the greenhouse? Hmm. That is interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's see if anything else changed. Alright, so we are back at it again. And I figured out what I did wrong. It was not the mod spot. It was the mod earth me so what I did was that I'm using the game file that I used for the expanded farm mod which I believe that I've done a review on that so I'll drop that somewhere in the video if you want to see that more in depth but I play a lot with my expanded farm mod and my diversity mod and I think I figured out that, that the diversity mod doesn't work like it's not compatible with this but the expanded mod like the expanded farm mod is so that's why it wasn't showing up because yeah, I put my places in, I put my um, farm in places in different locations throughout the farm so obviously I don't have my greenhouse done just yet so I will also post that in the pictures of what it's supposed to look like because if the farm like if my barn my coop look the way that they're supposed to then it's going to look like the same and this is it this is my barn and my coop oh my god they're so oh everything works on you can go in i'm gonna get my chicken some lemons oh my god they hate me because i haven't fed them today but everything works on it it's just changing the skin okay so anywho with that being more of a cosmetic mod there's really not much to really look at gameplay wise so um, we see what it looked like in game and it's really it matches very well with the game whenever we're immersed so the two mods were the kitchen appliances and then the seasonal like the seasonal um, buildings so let's see what they look like in the actual file to where you have to edit them so I use Vortex for all of my modding, um, especially my Stardew Valley ones because they are, it's so easy to do it this way. So I'm going go to go to my mods and we are going to first go to our seasonal buildings. We're going to open in file manager. So, and so in order for you to see it, we're going to go to the config. Oh, nope, we're gonna go to references. Maybe? 
content and then references okay so let's make sure we can see this on our screen Alrighty, so here we are looking at the actual file of this mod so you so you see the content side so that's this side right here i know you can't, you can't see my hands and, and, and what they're pointing to okay so here is the um what we will be editing and this will be the reference photos that that we choose from so this is probably one of the easiest ways to customize um your game within script but you have to have mods and you have to have certain scripts in in order to do this so again this mod is the seasonal um buildings mod so we get so we so we see in the very beginning it's going to be color palette and when we go to our reference photos, we're gonna find the one that says color palette. I know you really can't see it because of my camera box, but this one says color palette. So we're gonna choose our color palette first. So it's gonna be either Ellie, Vanilla, Star Blue, and over here is Emi. So um, here it says that we can either choose from those four. So I typed in Star Blue, but this can be changed in any of them. So say if you really like the Emi one, you can you just type in Emi, and then and then from there on you go and you and you go other things. So 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 the theme. So we can either choose color, brick, or white for our theme. So since so since we chose this for our color palette, we're gonna look at which ones that we want. Do we want a color, brick, or white? So let's do color. Alright, so that's all that we have for this side. So we're just going to click the next one. So we have next up our farmhouse holidays. So that matches this. So we can either put that if we want farmhouse holidays or we don't want farmhouse holidays. And of course, I want decor, so that's going to stay true. And then that goes throughout. So we're going to actually change this up a little. So um, you can see the differences from the beginning of the video to the end of the video. So we can choose like a cabin style, greenhouse style, 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 style man, a manor, rustic, stained glass, which is, which is what I chose. I chose the stained glass or the vanilla. And anytime that you see the word vanilla, that just means that it's referring to the original artwork of the game. So let's do the greenhouse. So we're gonna go to farmhouse style right here. We're going to delete this and we're just going to type in greenhouse and we are going to make sure that it's the same. We're not going to add any spaces or we're not going to add any unnecessary capitalization because that's really important whenever you are editing scripts like this. So from here, we can do the material and color. So we want the palette that we chose. So we didn't choose Ellie. So we're going to go over to Emi and we're going to choose either if we want stone or wood. And I feel like that we should do wood. No, 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 stone. Just so we can see the differences. And then we can choose our color. So let's do, I don't know. Let's do black. Alrighty, and then you can kind of see the gist of how the reference photos goes with the actual editing of the script um, and then so I can show you some of the other things that you are able to edit in this so so here are the things that you are able to edit so of course the farmhouse material and then here's the barns and the coops so you can either do the old style or the newer style I chose the newer style um, as you've seen in um, in the first gameplay and you and I mean and then these will also go with the palettes in the barn the palettes and the themes that you chose at the beginning then this is strictly for the multiplayer cabins as you can see you can choose either the new ones or the old ones and you can see slight so slight differences on both so going here here is our greenhouse and our clocks so you can change the appearance of the greenhouse and the gold clock 
the same with the hut so I just stuck with the natural one on mine so actually let's go ahead and edit that because I do want to see that changed so let's do built Alrighty, and then of course you have your mill, Shane's coop, um, the sheds, so the silos, wells, stables, and then there's a lot more that you can edit in this, but it doesn't give reference photos, which is what I seemed, what I felt was kind of odd because here is the slime hutch, which we don't see that, or the fence recoloring. So let's actually do a true on that because I don't. So we'll see. Um, let's do a true on the fish pond recoloring too. And let's just see what it does. And please do not forget to save your work. Save it multiple times. <laughs> that way you know that you have it saved. So let's go over to the kitchen appliances one. And that works just like how we did within Vortex. So we're gonna go to the kitchen replacement mod. Then we're gonna open up in file manager. And it looks just the same. So we're gonna go to content, not config, content. Then on the other side, we are gonna do our references. So this one's not as much of the references. So from here, you really only need to change the first little bit. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of code and a lot of script, but you don't need to worry about that. We are only going to worry about the top half. So from here, you can change whether or not you want tile or wood. And that refers... Hmm. Maybe I didn't select the right one. Is it assets? It's assets. Okay. This is what we want. <laughs> we want the assets. So you can either choose between tile or wood. I'm con I confused myself. I shouldn't have confused myself. Counter. I don't know why I confused myself. Hang on. <laughs> hmm. You can also choose between wood and counter, wood and tile countertops. So that's what that's referring to, but I don't see any images for a wood countertop. Maybe that's a new one that they haven't. they haven't um, put in images yet. Okay, that's that's what I wanted to say. Alright, anyway. <laughs> so I chose tiles. So let's actually do wood. Maybe. No. Uh, 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 no, let's do tile. <laughs> I don't want to mess up this because it's going to default to wood and it's going to do this. So we're just going to keep it like that. Alrighty. So, our tile, we can change in any of the colors. So let's go to the, the colors that are necessary, or the colors that we can choose from. And of course, they say the allow value, so that's what you can put in. And naturally, I chose sage because I'm in love with a nice light green. But let's try to make a very fun, actually, scratch it, let's make a very modern kitchen. A very kitchen that a Sebastian would like to live in. Sebastian. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. So I feel like that we should do like maybe a modern countertop. With hmm, maybe a black wood. 
and um, for the appliances let's do black again for the handles right here let's actually do a pop of color let's do silver let's just make sure we save that I'm very obsessive about saving so I save it a couple times and those are the things that you can change oh. those are the things that you can change in the actual like kitchen appliances but if you wanted a little bit different pictures you could go to the file assets and you can actually see it as it would look in the game it's very small though so you can see, you would have to zoom it up, but you can see the colors and how they're going to lay out within the game. So if you wanted to see actually what the stage would look like, you can look at this. So we have it all saved. So now we're going to make sure that all of our mods are deployed. It wants me to update my mod and I don't want to do that just yet. So. It is so my so my mods are all deployed. So we're gonna go to go to our dashboard and we're gonna aim to run our game. And it's gonna give us this little startup mission. It's gonna deploy all of our mods for us. And just sit back and wait. Okay, so one half of the mod editing worked. Can we go back in and it will change? No. So. So our exterior changed. <laughs> so, I, but yeah, here's our pretty greenhouse house. I wish that we could actually be up here. That's really pretty. Okay, now let's look at how that changed our chicken coops and everything. So here is our chicken coops and our barn and our silo to match that, which is really neat. And let's see about the actual community center because we changed the like um Jumino hut to a built hut so let's see if that took which it should have if the rest of them took um no it didn't take did it maybe it's not talking about this hut maybe it's a different one So I really don't Maybe. know why our kitchen didn't change. I have one more idea, but I'm going to have to uninstall the mod, reinstall the mod, and then edit it again, if that makes sense. So just hold tight one more second. Okay, so my idea worked. So what I did was I had to reinstall the mod in order to take the changes. I didn't do anything that, um, different to the actual script itself. So, I don't know if that's something on my end, or if that's something on the mod's end, or the mod in the game not communicating very well, but we got it. <laughs> we got it. So, we have our cute little kitchen, and of course you can change the tile or anything else throughout, and of course our beautiful house, and hello Sam. So yeah, here is our newly updated kitchen and our seasonal um, buildings so I absolutely love this mod even though it was a little bit of a learning curve and that's the great thing about mods though is because you learn a lot while you do it especially whenever it comes to editing script um, of the mod and it's really um, you really personalize it that way as well so I would I would definitely highly recommend this mod um, let me know what you guys think of this mod in the comments below. Let me know if I did something wrong <laughs> or if I missed out something really cool. Um, again, this is my own personal game. So I haven't unlocked or bought a lot of the um, one of the different buildings just yet because I've been playing this with my stream. So there's still a lot for me to uncover with this. But... I was able to show you what this mod really does offer in the terms of everything and everything works great it's compatible with the extended farm mod um, 
yeah and that was really and that was really exciting that it was compatible with that so yeah if you guys have any other mod suggestions please put that in the comments below and as always if you like this video give it a like and subscribe to the channel if um, if, if you want to know what other videos i have in store so yeah i'll see you later bye